Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, my name is Dan and in this video we're going to look at nesting craziness with a bit of centering stuff. Okay, and um, what we need to do is, um, with my Photoshop mockup, there it is there, you can see I've got some icons with some text underneath it. And over here though, in my mobile layout, the uh, icon ends up being on the left and the text on the right. Now, um, what you might do is have two rows of four columns. Okay, the problem with that is that when they break down into that smaller view, they don't line up next to each other. Let's demo that and then look at the way we're going to do it with our crazy nesting. So first of all, I would like to find my, uh, go to my CSS designer, main CSS, and under my selectors, I want to find the one that is for services. And I'm going to click show set and scroll down to my color. And remember, I don't want to delete it. I just wanted this one here. It says disable it. Okay, so it goes away, but I can turn it on really quickly. If I, if I delete it, it's gone forever and it's a little hard to get back. So I'm just going to do this so that we can see the text in here because at the moment the default text is a kind of a light uh, dark gray and it's very hard to see against that purple. So what I'm going to do is inside of uh, all of these columns, I'm going to paste, I'm going to insert a paragraph, I'm going to nest it inside and you can see my, so I'm going to put my icon one. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to insert and put in my, we're going to put in our images properly, but I'll, I guess I just want to show you, uh, there's my icon two. Click over here, click on this one, insert paragraph. This is going to be my icon three. Icon three. Insert paragraph, nest inside, double click text call this one icon four. So those are the four icons. Those are just representing these kind of colored um, uh, images here. So underneath that though, so what you could do is grab the whole row and duplicate it. So I clicked on the row and then I've clicked add new row, which is great. Okay, actually what I wanna do is duplicate that row. So I'm gonna click on the row and there's an option here that says duplicate, great. So down here, this is when it can be my text one. So this is gonna be text one. This is the corresponding text underneath them, right? So the trouble is later on, we're not doing mobile yet, but um, these are the kinds of things, once you've kind of gone through this whole course, you have to start thinking and projecting what's gonna happen in the smaller views. So watch this. If I preview on a browser, I hit save. Okay, watch this. When it's a desktop view, perfect. Icon one and text um, one are together. Same with icon two in the text two. Watch what happens when I break this down. Can you see they end up, all the icons, because they're in that first row, have all stacked on top of each other, and all the text is stacked on top of each other. Okay, what I really need is the icon with the text still with it. This icon two with the text still with this. So you can see over here they need to be together. But because they're in these two rows, Okay, that row ended up collapsing on top of itself and this one did. So we're gonna do some uh, fun nesting. So I'm gonna undo, 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 undo until all of this is gone. I'm using the shortcut of Command Z or Control Z on a PC. Okay, until all of those are gone. So I've got my first row with my columns. What we're gonna do is inside this first column, we're gonna put another row in column. We're gonna nest one inside of it. So let's go to insert. I'm gonna put, so I've selected my column there. I'm gonna insert another row and a column in there. It's gonna be inside of it. And it's just gonna to need to be, what is it gonna to need to be? It's gonna to need to be two columns. Click okay. So inside of this guy, I've got this kind of mess of nesting now. So there's my row, okay, the one that I just made, but then there's the parent row, which is the kind of bigger, larger one with its column. And then inside of him, there's a row and a column. Now, what I wanna do is, watch this, he is now six, which just means he's half of the parent row, okay, the parent container column, sorry, and watch this, if I drag it up to 12, click on you, drag him out, you see, he's 12, so it's not the full grid, but it's full for him, he's a, it's the full width of his little boundaries in the world, and that's the column that he's in. You can see this guy is six, so I've spread him out, so what's gonna happen is in large view or desktop view, I'm gonna be able to have my icon on the top and the image and the text below. 
And what will happen though, is when it collapses down, it'll mean that these two guys hang about together because they are jammed inside this column. Okay, so they can't kind of split like the other ones did. So you'll get to a point where you start making parts of columns and you'll start testing on mobile as you're building because there's no point going through and designing it all in desktop, only have to come back. We've separated them into this course to be separate just so that I can define some areas to kind of go into detail rather than trying to throw it all at you in one go. All right, so I think I'll actually save the centering for another video just to keep it nice and separate so you can find it again later. All right, so that's how to nest columns and rows inside other columns and rows. Now, if that freaked you out a little bit and it's all a little too hard, don't worry, not all sites need to have this kind of nested uh, rows inside other rows. So if you are really new to web design and bootstrap, you might skip this little bit or grab the uh, project files afterwards so that you've got a working version to see how it works. Hey there, remember this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link and below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi da da.